the evolution of console games. The history of console games is a long and fascinating one. It all started in 1958 with the creation of Tennis for Two, the first console game ever made. William Higginbotham, a physicist at Brookhaven National Laboratory, designed the game as a way to showcase the capabilities of the laboratory's Donner Model 30 analog computer. Tennis for Two was a simple game that used an oscilloscope display and two controllers to simulate a game of tennis. Despite its simplicity, it was a hit with visitors to the laboratory and quickly gained recognition as the first video game in history. From there, the evolution of console games continued with the release of the Magnavox Odyssey in 1972, the first console to use cartridges to store and load games. This opened up a world of possibilities for game developers, allowing for more complex games and better graphics. The 1980s saw a huge surge in popularity for console games, with the release of the Atari 2600 and the Nintendo Entertainment System NES. These consoles brought arcade-style games into people's homes and solidified the video game industry as a legitimate form of entertainment. As the technology behind consoles continued to improve, so did the quality of games. The 1990s saw the release of console classics like Super Mario World, Sonic the Hedgehog, and GoldenEye 7. These games defined an era in gaming and are still beloved by players to this day. The early 2000s brought about a new era of gaming with the release of consoles like the Xbox, PlayStation 2, and Nintendo GameCube. These consoles brought with them even more advanced technology, including online play and HD graphics. Today, the video game industry is a multi-billion dollar industry with consoles like the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch leading the way. These consoles are capable of graphics that were once thought impossible and bring players together from all over the world. The evolution of console games has been a remarkable journey, with each new advancement pushing the boundaries of what is possible. From the humble beginnings of tennis for two, to the powerhouse consoles of today, console games have come a long way and show no signs of slowing down. As the industry continues to evolve, we can only imagine what the future of console games holds. One thing is for sure, however, the next chapter in the history of console games promises to be just as exciting and groundbreaking as the last. We can't wait to see what's next. Question, what was the first console game created? Check the video description for the answer. Popular console games of the 90s. The 1990s were a golden era for console games, with classic titles that are still beloved by gamers today. At the forefront of this era was Super Mario World, released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991. The game was a massive success, introducing new power-ups and abilities for Mario while upping the ante in terms of level design and replayability. But Super Mario World wasn't the only game making waves during this time. The Sega Genesis was also carving out its own space in the market with titles like Sonic the Hedgehog and Streets of Rage gaining a loyal following. These fast-paced games offered a challenge and a level of excitement that was hard to find in other genres at the time. As the decade progressed, a new player entered the game, the PlayStation. Originally intended as a collaboration between Sony and Nintendo, the PlayStation ultimately launched as a standalone console in 1994. Its hardware and software capabilities, as well as its impressive library of games, made it an instant hit. Meanwhile, Nintendo wasn't about to cede ground to its competitors. The Nintendo 64 launched in 1996, bringing with it classics like Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Golden i7. These games showcased the console's ability to produce 3D graphics, opening up new possibilities for game design and immersing players in rich, fully realized worlds. 
For many gamers, these console games of the 90s remain among their favorites to this day. The colorful, whimsical world of Super Mario World, the adrenaline-fueled speed of Sonic the Hedgehog, the gritty urban landscape of Streets of Rage, the expansive world of Ocarina of Time, and the cutting-edge gameplay of GoldenEye 7 all hold a special place in the hearts of players young and old. Even as the industry has continued to evolve with new consoles, new technologies, and new genres, these classic games have endured. They represent a time when the medium was still finding its footing, experimenting with new ideas and pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Of course, not all console games of the 90s were hits. There were plenty of titles that fell flat, or that were overshadowed by their more popular counterparts. But for many gamers, that's part of the appeal of this era. It was a time of experimentation and discovery, where developers were still figuring out what worked and what didn't. And even the less successful games of this era can be appreciated for their ambition, their creativity, and their pioneering spirit. All in all, the console games of the 90s represent a high point in the history of gaming. They laid the foundation for the industry as we know it today, shaping the tastes and preferences of gamers for decades to come. And even now, as new consoles and new genres continue to emerge, these classic games remain a touchstone for players of all ages, a reminder of a simpler time when the most important thing was having fun. Question, what is the most popular console game of the 90s? Check the video description for the answer. Different types of console games. As the industry grew, so did the variety of console games available to players. Some of the most popular genres to emerge during this time included first-person shooters, FPS, and role-playing games, RPG, each with their own distinct gameplay styles and storytelling techniques. FPS games, such as the aforementioned Golden i7, focused on fast-paced action, intense combat, and immersive environments. These games often placed players in the role of a lone hero, tasked with taking out hordes of enemies using a variety of weapons and strategies. The popularity of FPS games only continued to grow over the years, with modern entries like Call of Duty and Halo pushing the limits of what's possible in terms of graphics, sound, and gameplay. RPGs, on the other hand, were more focused on immersive storytelling, character development, and exploration. These games often featured complex narratives, branching paths, and open worlds for players to explore. Players were encouraged to create their own unique characters, making choices and developing skills over the course of the game. Some of the most beloved RPGs of the 90s include Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy Roman 7, and Baldur's Gate. But the console games of the 90s weren't limited to just these two genres. In fact, the decades saw the emergence of a wide range of new genres and sub-genres, each with their own unique take on gameplay and storytelling. There were action-adventure games like The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, which blended intense combat with intricate puzzles and exploration. There were platformers like Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country, which challenged players with precision jumping and fast-paced gameplay. There were also sports games, racing games, puzzle games, and more, each catering to a specific type of player. The sheer variety of console games available in this era was part of what made it so special. Players had the freedom to explore new genres, try out new gameplay mechanics, and discover new worlds in ways that simply weren't possible before. And even within each genre, there was so much variation and creativity on display, with the developers constantly pushing the limits of what was possible. Today, many of these classic console games have been re-released or remastered from modern consoles, giving players a chance to relive the magic of the 90s. And while the industry has certainly evolved and changed over the years, with new technologies and gameplay mechanics emerging all the time, there's something special about the console games of the past. 
They represent a time when anything was possible, when the industry was still finding its footing, and when gamers were simply looking for new and exciting experiences to share with friends and family. Whether you were a fan of FPS games, RPGs, platformers, or something else entirely, there's no denying the impact that the console games of the 90s had on the industry. They paved the way for the games we enjoy today. And they continue to hold a special place in the hearts of players around the world. Question, what is the difference between a FPS and a RPG? Check the video description for the answer. Console games for the whole family. Growing up in the 90s, console games meant family time. We would spend hours together on the weekends, taking turns playing our favorite games. Back then, family-friendly games were a staple, and everyone could join in on the fun. But as the years went by, games became more complex, and it became harder to find titles that were appropriate for everyone. That was until we discovered Mario Kart. Mario Kart was everything we loved about console games fast-paced, competitive, and absolutely hilarious. It was the first game that made us all laugh so hard we couldn't breathe. And the best part, it didn't matter if you were a seasoned gamer or just starting out, everyone could get behind the wheel and join the race. As the years went by and technology advanced, new family-friendly games emerged. One of the most popular of these has been Minecraft. Like Mario Kart, it's something that everyone can get involved in, regardless of skill level. Minecraft is a game that encourages creativity and exploration. You start with an empty world, and it's up to you to build, mine, and craft your way to success. Whether you're building castles, exploring caves, or just messing around with friends, there's always something new to discover. Another game that has become a staple in our household is Animal Crossing. It's a relaxing and charming game with a community-building focus. You get to design your own island and interact with a variety of animal characters, all with unique personalities and quirks. Animal Crossing is the kind of game that you can spend hours on without even realizing it. The music is soothing, the visuals are beautiful, and the gameplay is addictive. Whenever we need a break from the stress and chaos of daily life, we turn to Animal Crossing to unwind and take our minds off of things. Console games have come a long way since the 90s, but I'm happy to see that there are still titles that are appropriate for the whole family. From Mario Kart to Minecraft to Animal Crossing, there's something out there for everyone. In a world where it's becoming increasingly difficult to find time to spend together as a family, Console games provide an opportunity to bond and have fun. Whether you're a parent playing with your kids or siblings engaging in some friendly competition, console games create memories that last a lifetime. As our family grows and changes, so too do the console games we play. But one thing remains constant, our love for family-friendly titles that bring us together and remind us of the times we spent playing together in the 90s. Question, what are some family-friendly console games? Check the video description for the answer. Popular console games of the 2000s. The early 2000s brought a wave of new console games that quickly became fan favorites. Among these was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which was released in 2004 for the Xbox and PlayStation 2. San Andreas quickly garnered a reputation for its open-world gameplay, which allowed players to explore a vast virtual world with limitless possibilities. The game followed the story of Carl C. J. Johnson as he navigated the gang-ridden streets of San Andreas. Players could complete main missions, side missions, and even engage in illegal activities like stealing cars and committing armed robbery. This gritty and sometimes Violent gameplay attracted a large fan base, but it also raised concerns over the impact of violent video games on young players. Still, despite the controversy, San Andreas continued to gain popularity, 
and its influence could be seen in other console games of the time. The game's success also paved the way for future Grand Theft Auto releases, such as the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto V. But San Andreas wasn't the only console game making waves in the early 2000s. The PlayStation 2 and Xbox offered a host of other popular titles that kept players entertained for hours on end. One of these was Halo Combat Evolved, which came out in 2001 and was exclusive to the Xbox. The first-person shooter allowed players to take on the role of Master Chief, a soldier trying to save the universe from an alien race known as the Covenant. The game's innovative graphics and sci-fi storyline made it a hit and spawned numerous sequels. Another popular console game of the time was Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Released in 2001 for the PlayStation 2, the game followed the character Solid Snake as he attempted to prevent a terrorist group from launching a nuclear attack. Metal Gear Solid 2 offered a mix of stealth and action gameplay, and its success encouraged the release of more Metal Gear Solid games in the years that followed. The early 2000s also saw the rise of sports games on consoles. Titles like FIFA and Madden NFL proved to be extremely popular amongst sports fans, with their realistic graphics and immersive gameplay. These games allowed players to create their own teams and control their favorite athletes, giving them a taste of what it was like to compete at a professional level. Looking back, it's clear that the popular console games of the early 2000s helped shape the gaming landscape as we know it today. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Halo, Combat Evolved, Metal Gear Solid 2, FIFA, and Madden NFL are only a few examples of the many titles that captured players' hearts and imaginations. While technology has advanced and new console games have been released, the legacy of these early kits lives on. They continue to inspire new generations of gamers, encouraging them to explore new worlds, engage in intense competition, and have fun in a way that only console games can provide. Question. What is the most popular console game of the 2000s? Check the video description for the answer. The future of console games. As technology advances, the future of console games looks brighter than ever. With innovations like virtual reality, players can immerse themselves in a gaming experience like never before. VR technology has come a long way since its early days, and today's virtual reality headsets can transport players to virtual worlds that look and feel real. From shooting games to puzzle games to exploration games, VR adds a whole new dimension of excitement to the console gaming experience. But the future of console gaming doesn't end with VR. With each passing year, new technologies and innovations are being developed that will continue to enhance the gaming experience. From powerful graphics engines to sophisticated AI, the possibilities are endless. Some experts predict that in the future, console games may even merge with other technologies, such as augmented reality. Imagine a game that blends the real world with a virtual one, where players can physically interact with virtual objects and characters in their everyday environment. Of course, with all of these advances come new challenges. Console game developers must find ways to make their games more accessible and user-friendly, without sacrificing innovation and creativity. And with new technologies come new concerns about safety and privacy, which must be addressed to ensure that gamers can enjoy their play without worry. Despite these challenges, the future of console games is bright. With each new innovation, players can expect to experience even more thrilling and immersive gaming experiences than ever before. The sky's the limit when it comes to what the future holds for the world of console games. Question. Will virtual reality become more prominent in console games? Check the video description for the answer. 
Console Games vs. PC Games Console games and PC games have been in competition for years, each offering a different gaming experience. Some gamers prefer consoles because they are easy to use, while others prefer PCs because of the hardware capabilities. For PC gamers, the hardware sometimes means the difference between winning and losing. The ability to upgrade graphic cards, boost RAM, and increase the CPU speed can put a PC gamer ahead of the competition. Consoles, on the other hand, have a fixed hardware configuration that can only be upgraded if a new version of the console is released. However, hardware is not the only factor that sets console games apart from PC games. The controls used to play each type of game are also different. Console games often rely on a gamepad with integrated controls, while PC games use peripherals ranging from keyboards to dedicated gaming mice. PC gamers and console gamers both have strong opinions on what input device is superior. While some argue that the precision of a keyboard and mouse combination is unmatched, others claim that gamepads are more ergonomic and easier to use. Customization is another area where PC games have an edge over console games. With a PC, players can customize their gameplay experience by tweaking the graphics settings and tuning the game to their tastes. The modding community also enhances the customization experience, allowing players to modify the game's code and artwork. Console games, however, are more widely accessible. Unlike PCS, which can require frequent upgrades and maintenance, console games take care of all the hardware configuration automatically. This means that anyone can purchase a console and start playing games right out of the box. Despite the differences between console and PC gaming, some games are available for both platforms. For gamers who want the best of both worlds, some games come with cross-platform compatibility allowing players to compete across both console and PC platforms. In the end, the choice between console games and PC games comes down to personal preference. Some prefer the ease of use of consoles, while others enjoy the customization options of PCS. Regardless of what platform players choose, it is clear that both console and PC gaming have a bright future ahead. Question, what are some differences between console games and PC games? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 1 Introduction to Console Gaming Video games have taken the world by storm, providing a unique form of entertainment that has captured the hearts of both young and old. The evolution of technology has played a significant role in the rise of video games, which have continued to evolve with each passing year. Console gaming refers to playing video games on an electronic device designed specifically for that purpose. These consoles come complete with all the necessary hardware, software, and controllers needed for a seamless gaming experience. Consoles have come a long way since the early days of video gaming. Today, Modern consoles offer high-definition graphics and immersive gameplay like never before. The development of gaming consoles has allowed individuals to experience a level of entertainment previously thought impossible. These devices have revolutionized the way we play games, allowing us to experience endless hours of fun without ever leaving the comfort of our living rooms. Controllers are an essential component of console gaming. They come in various shapes and sizes, designed for different types of games. For example, controllers used for racing games are designed to mimic the experience of driving a car, complete with pedals and a steering wheel. Likewise, controllers used for shooting games are designed to make you feel like you are holding a gun, complete with triggers and joysticks. These specialized controllers allow gamers to feel more immersed in the game, making the experience feel more authentic. Console gaming has also become a social activity. 
multiplayer games have allowed individuals to connect with others from around the world. Online gaming has become a popular way for people to connect, compete, and have fun. Consoles have made it easier than ever to play with friends and family, with many consoles offering split-screen play and online multiplayer modes. The ability to play games with others has made console gaming a social activity that can be enjoyed by all. In conclusion, console gaming has become an essential form of entertainment in modern society. Its popularity has grown along with the advancements in technology, providing gamers with the ultimate gaming experience. With the use of specialized controllers and immersive gameplay, players can experience a world previously thought impossible. Console gaming has also become a social activity, connecting individuals globally and bringing people together for endless hours of fun. The evolution of console gaming shows no signs of stopping, with exciting new developments and innovations on the horizon. With such an exciting future ahead, it's no wonder console gaming is here to stay. Question, what is console gaming? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, History of Console Gaming The history of console gaming dates back to the 1970s when the first home game console, Magnavox Odyssey, was introduced to the market. The early days of console gaming were marked by simple games, such as Pong, a two-dimensional sports game that simulated table tennis in which players had to move a paddle up and down to hit a bouncing ball. The rise of console gaming was further fueled by the introduction of Atari, a company that revolutionized the gaming industry by introducing more advanced games, such as Space Invaders and Pac-Man. These games were much more complex and offered a more immersive gaming experience to players. As a result, the popularity of console gaming skyrocketed. However, Atari's success was short-lived as the company suffered a major setback due to the infamous video game crash of 1983. The crash resulted from an oversaturation of low-quality games flooding the market, leading to a loss of consumer confidence in the gaming industry. The crash contributed to Atari's eventual downfall and marked the end of the company's dominance in the gaming industry. In the decades following the video game crash, console gaming saw new players enter the market, such as Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, who continued to push the limits of technology and innovation. These companies introduced new games with better graphics, sound, and gameplay, which further fueled the popularity of console gaming. One of the most notable advancements in console gaming was the introduction of 3D graphics, which allowed for more realistic and immersive gameplay. The introduction of 3D graphics marked a turning point in the history of console gaming as it opened up new possibilities for game developers and offered players a more realistic gaming experience. The popularity of console gaming continued to grow in the 21st century, with advancements such as online gaming and virtual reality adding to the gaming experience. The Internet made it possible for players to connect with each other, regardless of their geographic location, while virtual reality offered players a way to experience games in a whole new way, transporting them to virtual worlds that felt real. In conclusion, the history of console gaming is a fascinating one marked by many notable milestones and advancements. From the humble beginnings of Magnavox Odyssey and Pong to the advanced graphics and immersive gameplay of modern consoles, console gaming has come a long way. The popularity of console gaming only looks set to continue, with even more advancements and innovations on the horizon. It's an exciting time for gamers everywhere, and one that promises endless hours of fun and entertainment. Question, when did console gaming first become popular? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3. Types of Console Games as gaming has evolved, so too have the types of console games available to players. Today, gamers can choose from a wide variety of genres, gameplay styles, and characters, 
each bringing its unique set of challenges and rewards. Sports games, for example, offer players the chance to compete in their favorite sports without ever leaving the comfort of their living room. These games simulate realistic gameplay, allowing players to control their favorite teams or athletes and compete against others for bragging rights. Whether it's basketball, football, or soccer, sports games offer a chance for players to test their skills and compete against others in a virtual arena. Simulation games, on the other hand, offer players the chance to experience what it's like to live a different life. These games simulate real-world experiences, from running a business to tending to a farm. Players take on the role of a character and try to navigate their way through a virtual world, controlling every aspect of their character's life. These games offer a unique and immersive experience, allowing players to explore different scenarios and worlds at their own pace. Regardless of the genre or gameplay style, what truly makes a console game special are the characters. Characters are the heart and soul of a game, bringing it to life and giving players someone to root for. From classic characters like Mario and Sonic to newer additions like Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, characters help to draw players into the game's world and create an emotional connection. Sports games and simulation games both rely heavily on character interactions to create a sense of immersion. In sports games, players control their team or athletes interacting with other characters and teams in order to win games and tournaments. Simulation games, on the other hand, allow players to create and manage their own characters, building their skills and relationships over time. Ultimately, the type of console game a player chooses comes down to personal preference. Some may prefer the fast-paced action of sports games, while others may enjoy the slower, more methodical gameplay of simulation games. Regardless of the genre, gameplay style, or characters, console gaming offers an opportunity for everyone to immerse themselves in a new world and experience something uniquely engaging. As the world of gaming continues to evolve, it's likely that we'll see even more diversity in the types of console games available to players. New genres will emerge, new gameplay mechanics will be introduced, and characters will continue to capture our imaginations and transport us to new and exciting worlds. For gamers, the future is bright. With so many incredible experiences waiting to be explored, it's an exciting time to be a fan of console gaming. So whether you're a sports fan, a simulation enthusiast, or simply someone who loves great characters and engaging gameplay, rest assured there is a console game out there for you. All that's left to do is pick up a controller and dive in. Question, what are some types of console games? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Console Gaming vs. PC Gaming Console Gaming vs. PC gaming, the debate between console gaming and PC gaming, is a long-standing one that has divided gamers for years. On one hand, you have the convenience and simplicity of consoles, while on the other, you have the flexibility and power of computers. One of the biggest advantages of PC gaming is graphics. With the right hardware, PC games can look incredible and offer stunning visuals that just can't be matched on a console. However, this comes with a cost, as a high-end gaming PC can be very expensive. On the other hand, consoles are generally more affordable and offer a wider range of games. They are also very portable, making them ideal for taking on the go or playing with friends. However, their graphics capabilities are limited by their hardware, which can be frustrating for gamers who crave the best visual experience. Another aspect to consider is accessories. While consoles typically come with everything you need to get started, PCs require a lot of additional accessories. This can be a pain for some gamers, but others enjoy the added customization options and the ability to upgrade their system over time. Josh had always been a console gamer. 
He loved heading to his friend's house to play multiplayer games like Mario Kart or Super Smash Bros. He found the simplicity of consoles appealing and loved the portability of the Nintendo Switch, which he could take with him on the go. However, his friend Alex was a diehard PC gamer. He had built his own gaming rig from scratch and raved about the incredible graphics and modding capabilities that came with it. Josh was curious, but he was hesitant to switch to PC gaming. He had always found computers to be intimidating and was worried about the cost. Despite his reservations, Josh decided to give PC gaming a try. He saved up and built his own gaming PC, carefully selecting each component to ensure he got the best gaming experience possible. At first, the complexity of navigating Steam and choosing from the vast library of games was overwhelming. But he soon found himself lost in worlds he couldn't have imagined on a console. The graphics were stunning, and he was blown away by the added details and textures he had never noticed before. He also found the added modding capabilities to be a fun and exciting way to personalize his gaming experience. While he still loved his consoles, Josh was glad he decided to give PC gaming a try. He had discovered a whole new world of gaming and had been welcomed into a supportive community of gamers who shared his passion. In the end, whether you prefer console or PC gaming comes down to personal preference. Both have their pros and cons, and ultimately it's up to the individual to choose what works best for them. Josh had found that he enjoyed both and was happy to have the option to switch between them depending on his mood. Question, what is the difference between console gaming and PC gaming? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, The Impact of Console Games on Society The impact of console games on society cannot be understated. Over the years, video games have become an integral part of our culture, leaving a lasting impression on the way we think, socialize, and entertain ourselves. At first glance, many people may not consider video games to be an art form. However, the storytelling and visual design that goes into creating a game can be just as intricate and expressive as any other form of traditional art. The gaming community has even created their own form of fan fiction and fan art that puts these games on a pedestal as a form of modern art. But gaming also has the power to address social issues. Games like Undertale tackle themes of morality and compassion, while Life is Strange deals with topics like depression and suicide. These games are not only entertaining, but they offer a unique and engaging platform to explore and discuss important societal concerns. Console games have also had a significant influence on the way we interact with each other. Competitive gaming has led to the formation of sports teams and tournaments, bringing together gamers from all corners of the world to compete and connect over their shared passion. The increased accessibility to multiplayer games has also made gaming a more social activity, allowing friends and strangers alike to team up and work towards a common goal. But with any influential media comes the potential for negative impact. Some have argued that violent games like Call of Duty can desensitize players to violence, while others worry about the addictive nature of games and the negative impact they can have on mental health. However, it is important to remember that video games are just one facet of our ever-changing society. They can be a positive force for change and a way to connect with others, but they are by no means a perfect solution to every problem we face. The impact of console games on society will continue to evolve and change as the medium itself evolves. But even as we move forward into the future, it is clear that games will continue to be a vital part of our cultural landscape, providing entertainment and artistic expression as well as a platform to address social issues and connect with others who share our interests. Question how have console games impacted society? 
Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6 Console Game Development As the video game industry grew larger each year, so did the demand for talented developers with a unique vision and programming prowess. Companies vied for top talent, offering lucrative financial packages, exotic perks, and more. But programming skills could only get a developer so far, for a real game was only as good as its design. For Linda, a novice game developer with a passion for design, breaking into the industry was a daunting challenge. She spent months honing her skills, designing novel game characters and developing intricate narrative arcs. However, she knew that her work would never be seen if she didn't have the support of a publisher. Linda's fears were not unfounded. Companies in the games industry could be ruthless, and it was not uncommon for promising developers to be left behind in the name of profit. However, despite the challenges she encountered, Linda remained steadfast in her determination to make her dreams a reality. Her big break came when she was offered a chance to join a small indie publisher that saw potential in her work. With their support, Linda was able to bring her game concept to life and began the hard work of programming and design. Day and night, she worked with a driven focus, listening to feedback and making adjustments along the way. Months went by as Linda created her masterpiece, fueled by her passion for games. Finally, she submitted her game to the publisher, hoping that her vision had been realized to the best of her ability. The waiting was agonizing, but at last her phone rang. It was her publisher. Congratulations, Linda, your game is amazing. We are so proud to have you on board. She let out a deep sigh of relief. It was finally happening. Her hard work had paid off. Soon, her game began to take the industry by storm. It was praised by critics and fans alike for its innovative design and compelling characters. It won numerous awards and became a benchmark for how developers should approach game design. As she looked back on her journey from struggling developer to celebrated game designer, Linda realized that it wasn't just her own passion that brought her success. It was also the support of her publisher, who believed in her vision and offered her the resources she needed to realize her full potential. Now, Linda is known around the world for her groundbreaking designs and unwavering commitment to her craft. She continues to create games that inspire and entertain players of all ages. And to those who ask her what it takes to become a successful game developer, she always has the same advice, never give up on your dreams. Work hard, stay focused, and always remember to ask for help when you need it. Question, who develops console games? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Popular Console Games As the gaming industry continued to grow, there were certain console games that stood out as fan favorites. These games were bestsellers and had a massive fan base. Among them were popular games featuring iconic characters such as Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Lara Croft. What made these games so successful was not just their characters, but also their multiplayer features. Gamers could play with friends or strangers online, creating a social experience that enhanced the game's appeal. As a result, these games became the go-to options for many gaming enthusiasts. One such game was Super Smash Bros., a fighting game that allowed players to choose from a range of Nintendo characters. It was a fan favorite, featuring beloved characters like Mario, Pikachu, and Kirby. The game's popularity soared with the introduction of online multiplayer, allowing gamers from all over the world to battle against each other. Another popular game was Call of Duty, a first-person shooter game that had a dedicated fanbase. The game's multiplayer mode was the main attraction, allowing gamers to fight against each other in various game modes. The game's developers continually released updates, 
keeping the game fresh and ensuring that players kept coming back for more. Other games, such as Fortnite and Overwatch, also gained massive followings due to their multiplayer features. These games allowed players to join teams and compete against other teams all around the world. The games featured unique characters with their exclusive abilities, which added to the overall appeal. Character design was crucial in developing these popular games. The characters needed to be distinctive and memorable to capture the player's attention. Games such as The Legend of Zelda Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy had characters that were iconic and recognized worldwide. The characters' backstories and abilities also played a significant role in their popularity. For example, Lara Croft, the protagonist of Tomb Raider, is a character that has captured audiences worldwide. Her smart and courageous nature made her well-liked by fans who appreciated her intelligence and fearless attitude. Her adventures across the world added to her character's mystique. In conclusion, popular console games owe their success to many factors, such as multiplayer features, character design, and engaging storylines. These games continue to attract new players and maintain their dedicated fan base, ensuring their place among the best sellers in the gaming industry. Question, what are some popular console games? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Console Game Accessories. As Mark sat on the couch in his living room, he couldn't help but feel excited about the new accessories he had just purchased for his console gaming system. He had always been a fan of upgrading his gaming experience, and these new additions were sure to take it up a notch. First, Mark had purchased a new controller. The Xbox Elite Wireless Controller was a sleek and high-tech addition to his gaming setup. With interchangeable thumbsticks and D-pads, he could customize the controller to fit his preferred gaming style. The adjustable trigger locks allowed for more precise aiming in first-person shooter games like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Next on the list were a pair of wireless headphones. The Turtle Beach Stealth 700 headset was perfect for immersing Mark in the game world. The active noise cancellation provided by the headset ensured that Mark wouldn't be distracted by any outside noises such as the dog barking or his neighbors mowing their lawn. The Fiftim speakers provided crystal clear sound, making him feel like he was right in the middle of the game. Finally, Mark had purchased an expansion pack for one of his favorite games, Fallout 4. The Far Harbor expansion brought a whole new world to explore, with new quests, weapons, and enemies. Mark couldn't wait to dive into the new content and see what the game developers had in store for him. As he set up his new accessories and turned on his console, Mark couldn't help but feel like a kid in a candy store. The new controller felt comfortable in his hands, and he could already tell that it would make a difference in his gameplay. As he booted up Fallout 4, the sound of the game filled his ears, and he felt completely immersed in the world of the game. It didn't take long for Mark to notice a significant improvement in his gameplay. The new controller allowed him to aim more accurately in his favorite shooter games, and the added customization options gave him more control over his gaming experience. The headset provided an added layer of immersion, and he could hear every small detail of the game world around him. As he explored the new world of Far Harbor, Mark was impressed by the level of detail that the expansion pack brought to the game. The new weapons felt unique and powerful, and the new enemies provided a fresh challenge. Mark couldn't wait to show off his new accessories to his friends during their next gaming session. He knew that they would be impressed by the upgrades he had made, and he could already hear them gushing over the new controller and headset. As he settled in for a long gaming session, Mark felt extremely satisfied with his purchase. The new accessories had taken his gaming experience to the next level, and he couldn't wait to see what other upgrades 
and accessories he could add to his setup in the future. Question, what are some console game accessories? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, The Future of Console Gaming Console gaming had come a long way since the days of the Atari 2600 and the Nintendo Entertainment System. With each passing year, new innovations and advancements were made, pushing the limits of what was possible in the world of gaming. But what did the future hold for console gaming? That was the question on everyone's minds. One of the most talked about topics in recent years was the rise of virtual reality VR gaming. While VR had been around for decades, it had never been accessible to the average consumer until recently. The Oculus Rift and HTC Vive had brought VR gaming to the mainstream, but they were still quite expensive and required a powerful gaming PC to run. However, the future of VR gaming looked brighter than ever. Companies like Sony and Microsoft had announced their own VR headsets, which were being developed specifically for their respective consoles. This would make VR gaming more accessible to the average console gamer, as they wouldn't need a high-end gaming PC to experience it. Another potential game-changer was cloud gaming. With cloud gaming, the console itself would essentially become obsolete, as all game processing would be done in the cloud. All the gamer would need was a stable internet connection and a compatible device, like a smart TV or a tablet. Cloud gaming had been around for several years, but it had yet to catch on with the mainstream. However, with the advancements in internet speeds and reliability, there was a growing belief that the future of gaming would be in the cloud. Of course, there were some potential drawbacks to cloud gaming. One of the main concerns was latency, or the delay between the gamer's input and the action on the screen. This could be a huge issue for fast-paced games like first-person shooters or fighting games. Still, the potential benefits of cloud gaming were too hard to ignore. Gamers would no longer need to worry about hardware compatibility or upgrading their consoles every few years. They could simply stream the latest games directly to their device of choice. As the gaming industry looked towards the future, it was clear that there were exciting times ahead. Whether it was the rise of VR gaming or the potential revolution of cloud gaming, there were endless possibilities for what gaming could become. For those who had grown up with console gaming, it was both exciting and nostalgic. They had watched as the industry had grown and evolved over the years, and now they were witnessing the dawn of a new era. As the sun set on another day of gaming, one thing was clear. The future of console gaming was bright, and it was only going to get brighter with each passing year. Question, what does the future hold for console gaming? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, Console Gaming Tips As a seasoned console gamer, Jack knew the importance of having a few tricks up his sleeve to improve his gameplay. That's why he dedicated his spare time to researching new tips and strategies that would give him an edge over his opponents. His latest discovery was the importance of taking care of his health while gaming. Sitting in front of a screen for hours on end could have a detrimental effect on his posture, eyesight, and mental well-being. To counteract this, he started taking frequent breaks to stretch his limbs and rest his eyes. He also invested in a standing desk and ergonomic chair to ensure he was sitting in a comfortable and healthy posture. Another area he focused on was his controllers. As he had been an avid gamer for years, he had accumulated several different controllers, each with their unique set of problems. Some had sticky buttons, drifts, or unresponsive triggers. With the help of online tutorials, he learned how to clean and repair his controllers, prolonging their lifespan and saving him money in the long run. But good health and well-maintained controllers were only part of the equation. Jack also needed to develop his gameplay strategies. One tip he found useful was to always keep his cool, even in the heat of the battle. Getting frustrated or angry 
could cloud his judgment and lead to costly mistakes. Instead, he learned to take a deep breath and analyze the situation before making a move. He also learned the importance of knowing his strengths and weaknesses. Some games required quick reflexes, while others rewarded careful planning and strategy. By figuring out which games suited his playstyle, he was able to focus his efforts on mastering those games, rather than spreading himself thin across multiple genres. Finally, he discovered the importance of being patient and adaptable. Some games could be frustratingly difficult, requiring multiple attempts and failures before success. But by sticking with it and learning from his mistakes, he was able to overcome obstacles and emerge victorious. He also learned to be adaptable, as some games could have unexpected twists and turns that required him to think on his feet and adjust his strategies on the fly. With these tips and strategies in mind, Jack knew he was on the path to becoming an even better console gamer. He was eager to put his newfound knowledge to the test and see how it would improve his gameplay. But more than that, he was excited to continue learning and growing, always striving to be the best gamer he could be. Question, what are some